broken dishes were the order of the day and she had mastered the various scents of a nail breaking dishwashing liquid she used to scrub the dirt away. In this kitchen, she was just a chef, a master of recipes, a knowledgeable spice expert, a doctor of greasy areas, a floor scrubber. It was a full-time job. She could barely stay sober. In this kitchen, she was brought down to the level of a dishwasher. Her competition being water levels, sponges, dishwashing liquids, and sometimes she had to unblock mini drainages. Her opinions landed on kitchen counters. Her musical performances for the pots and the pans, her creativity broke down to the level of only determining the amount of salt and spice. In this kitchen, her value was depreciated. Her position was belittled. She was underestimated, frustrated. She felt her future denigrated. You see, whoever gave her the deeds to this place needs to wake up to reality and realize that this was not her place. Somebody had to see to it that this issue was addressed. But still, a shallow-minded man went ahead and called the kitchen her place. With pleasure, she struggled to maintain sanity in this place as she valued her countless contribution. They, they could not see beyond the toes that this place brought magical happy meals that could not only satiate hunger, but could raise even a generation. But they, they thought she belonged not in a boardroom because her specialty was cookery. Who said documentation lives in the same room? But you see, her place was not at home. Battling cramps, a nursing period flows, or wiping blood off flows. And neither was a place at home. Practicing selective hearing, or being the chief in administering first aid, or passing a band-aid to who needed it first, it was always a crusade. And her place was not to call parent and adult, whose parents could not teach real life lessons or basic mannerisms on how to coexist. This one, they gave her to him and called him husband. to seduce, to arouse or satisfy the sexual appetite of another human. <coughs> to stay on standby and answer morning glory calls and be blamed for the actions or reactions of a penis. Her place was not in the fellowship of women who taught her traditional scriptures which did not exist in universities because they were just common myths and beliefs. Her place was not of a sex symbol, a bed warmer, a stress reliever, or a holy man's entertainer. And her body was not a museum of statues for sure, because everything that existed were interconnected parts, and right inside of her, they lived a heart. So yes, sometimes she fought the wrong battles. She fought for her praises to stay subtle. And they pretended to understand, but it was the least they could do as they could not withstand her power, her finesse, her authority, or her grace, her ability to keep calm while it was raining rocks, her ability to foresee situations which was no joke, to multitask, to tackle childbirth and come back fast. Her biggest mistake was to fight for equality as it defined stupidity because women had already attained an unbeatable level of superiority. You ask about her place? Her place is on a pedestal, a million feet up on a throne of stone. So pardon her as she walks in an era where women and tools, but are people too. She is just unstoppable. She stands unbeatable and oh, as an admittable as it seems, she is queen and her place, her place is on top. Her place.